Hey everyone, it's Tuesday. First of all, I send some apologies from Marianne. She still has no access to a video camera, so she cannot publish again this week. We will sorely miss her, and we hope that she will be able to post soon. This week's topic is our favorite books and our favorite authors. This topic has been extremely difficult for me because obviously I detest all things to do with literature. I'm going to ask my friends to help me with this because obviously I can't even begin to talk about books because I hate them. Baby Bill, Baby Gandalf, what are your opinions on my favorite books? They're not saying anything. Well, um, Marielle, that might be because they're, you know, not really real. Well, yeah, but I mean, that makes no sense. Okay, Marielle, you are an English major and you're going to deal with it and embrace it. Yes, I am an English major and I absolutely love it. I am geeking out about this week. You know why? I like big books and I cannot lie. None of the other readers can't deny that when I see a book that's a thousand pages long and it's lying on that shelf, I geek out. Did I really just do that? Yes. Yes, I did. So after thoroughly embarrassing myself in front of anonymous internet users, I am going to talk about the benefits of being an English major. First of all, do you realize how awesome being an English major is? I mean, number one, you have a Broadway song written about how futile your future will be because you will have no jobs. I mean, who else has that bragging right? You get to participate in um, Fayima or Fayema. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's an acronym, not an initialism, for F yeah English major armadillo, um, which is a meme on Tumblr. It is the most amazing thing ever. Although lately it's been like trolled by a lot of grammar Nazis, and uh, it gets old after you know the first time that you hear. The grammar joke, um, and I think there are about like 5,000 of these <sighs> grammar jokes on there right now. I just want more literature stuff, please. <laughs> the off other awesome thing about being an English major is this. This is a Norton Anthology. Norton Anthologies will become your best friends as an English major because they are beautiful, they are over 3,000 pages long, and I mean just look at them, post notes, <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. There are really interesting things in here, like, you know, they have How by Allen Ginsberg, which actually I brought with me anyway, so I don't know why I didn't check to see if that was in here or not. I'm just brilliant like that. Um, and, you know, this is also the shorter version. There is a two-volume version, also, that are just about as long. I can't wait until I get to get the Britlet one, because, you know, that would just be epic. I also want the one for poetry, because that would be cool, too. I just, they're really, really cool books, and, you know, you, you treasure them. You can, like, kill people with them, I'm pretty sure, and they're just beautiful. Marielle, you're supposed to be talking about your favorite books and authors, and you don't even like American literature, so shut up already. Oh. Okay. Well, the first book series that I'm going to talk about is going to come as such a shock to you. You're not going to believe it. I have loved Harry Potter since probably the second grade when I first read it, either second or third grade, and it's been my favorite book series ever since. This is kind of an embarrassing fact from a literary snob standpoint because my favorite book has not changed since I was like eight, and that really doesn't say a lot for a person. That's kind of bad. I don't even know if that was the right math. I'm not even sure if that was like the age. I'm not going to bother to do it though. You can figure it out and tell me if I was wrong. I really don't care. Obviously, this holds a special place in my heart and on my walls and on my shirt and in my hand. I bought a new series because my, um, <laughs> my copies are all, like, hardback and this particular book, not this one, but the one at home, um, 
is signed by JK Rowling and I absolutely refuse to have that here where it might get stolen or otherwise injured. So I got the paper to backs and they're all beautiful and new and I'm afraid to breathe on them because they still smell like new books and they're beautiful. I'm hoping that we have a Harry Potter day sometime soon because I would love to discuss Harry Potter for an entire time but I really need to move on. I do like a contemporary American author especially um, by the name of John Green, DFTBA. Um, he and his brother Hank are the vlog brothers. Um, here on YouTube, and they are amazing, but he is an exceptional writer. Um, he's classified as young adult, but I would argue that his books are much more literary than young adult implies, and they should be recognized as some really, really good, really, you know, deep and r amazingly written um, books in contemporary American literature. I'm just saying that right now. I have lent out my copy of Looking for Alaska, so the only book that I have right now of his is Will Grayson Will Grayson, which I like, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is Paper Towns. That is absolutely brilliant. We just read um, some stuff from Leaves of Grass by Whitman, which is like sort of worked into that novel, and I don't know. I just love it. If you don't read anything else by John Green, which I assure you that you will read everything by John Green after this, you should read that. Although, actually, Paper Towns may have been surpassed by his unreleased book, The Fault in Our Stars, mostly because he uh, refers to Shakespeare in the title. I absolutely love Shakespeare. This is my complete works. It's the Riverside edition, and I just can't live without it. I also have like sh uh, Shakespeare lexicon up there in my bookshelf. And it's beautiful, and I love it, and it's Shakespeare, and he's cool. Also, this, the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged. It's like Banff to see, it's Banff to read, it's just amazeballs in general. But speaking of John Green, um, this summer he actually did this on online like book club thing in Nerdfighteria. Um, that kind of fell through because In Your Pants was hacked. In Your Pants is the website of um, this, is the forums, but it got hacked and we can't really discuss the book, but it's The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is like an edition that I bought at a library sale because it was like a dollar or like 50 cents, I think. I read it again this summer and I like, I, I just grew to have a newfound understanding of it and it's really cool. Other books that I do not have in my possession here that I would definitely recommend are the Bel Canto is amazing. It's by Ann Patchett, um, especially ten years after, you know, September 11th. I think that it's worth a read or a reread because I mean, it deals with the issue of terrorism and what defines a terrorist, and it really opens you know a discussion on this and a perce perspective that is not necessarily seen um, in the post 9/11 mindset. And, um, I also love The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and the other books by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I really love the world that he creates and the thoroughness of, of the world and how he just, you know, goes all out with it. To say it in a very <laughs> fried brain kind of way. Um, sorry, I have an essay due and it's kind of crazy and... I really need to get this done so I can have it for tomorrow to take to the writing center to work on it. Um, so I will see you guys next week. I'm sorry, I would love to talk more, but this has already taken enough time as it is, and I really can't afford any more time. See you guys. <laughs>